Hey, it's Andrew Huang. I don't put blow your mind in my video titles lightly. Actually, I don't think I've ever done it before. I want to talk about a psychoacoustic phenomenon I came across several years ago that really did blow my mind, and I just figured it was time I shared that with you. So let's get into it. Please, if you will, give a listen to this melody. If you've already figured it out, congratulations, but for most of you that probably just sounded like a bunch of random notes. I'm gonna play the exact same thing again, but I'm gonna implant one tiny piece of information in your mind, and most of you will now hear it completely differently. Are you ready? The song is Happy Birthday. If that worked on you, if you think this is as cool as I think it is, please leave a comment and let me know. Don't spoil it for anybody though. And this video is forever different for you now. You will never be able to unhear happy birthday in that pile of notes. If it didn't work on you, there's a chance you might be tone deaf. It's not really what this video is about, so good luck. Here's my attempt at explaining what's going on with what I'm calling the octave trick. Quick primer for the musically untrained, a musical note is a sound that's vibrating at a consistent frequency. For example, if I pluck this guitar string, it vibrates at 110 hertz, which means that the string moves back and forth 110 times per second. We call that note A. If you double that frequency or divide it in half, those are octaves of that note. And you can keep on doubling or halving and those notes will all be octaves of each other. The interesting thing about octaves is that even though they can be much lower or higher in pitch, our brain recognizes that they're related by this multiple of two and we perceive the sounds as being very similar to the point that we call the notes by the same name. So what you heard in this weird version of Happy Birthday was all the right notes being played at completely random octaves. The range of the original Happy Birthday melody is exactly one octave. Most melodies are contained within a couple of octaves, and that's probably because most human voices have a range of just a couple of octaves. <laughs> Consonance, which refers to the quality of sounds being pleasant or acceptable, generally stems from the simplicity of the mathematical ratios that express the relationships between those notes. The more basic the ratio, the more easily digestible the harmony. That probably sounds complicated, so let me show you some quick examples. Compare the sound of an octave, which is a two to one ratio, one note is twice as high as the other, with a few other musical intervals. So it's kind of like our ears are constantly doing math to the sounds that are coming into them, and we like it better when the math is easier. Maybe the weirdest part of all this, though, is that no one can explain why we're able to perceive these ratios so precisely. It makes sense that we can generally tell the difference between high frequencies and low frequencies because that helps us navigate a world full of wind and rain and bird calls and Rob Scallon and the piercing cries of young children. But there's no real usefulness, other than the enjoyment of music, to being able to identify intervals so well. With this octave trick, when we hear that big jumble of notes for the first time, those huge jumps in pitch override our musical sensibilities, and the main thing we take away from it is that there are frequencies all over the place. But with the knowledge of what the tune is and its familiarity to us, we can transcend the differences between those octaves and hear the melody through the mess. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and family. I kind of want to know if it works on a lot of people. As always, thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for my channel if you haven't already because I will be doing some weird new music stuff very soon.